Keeping the rave alive. All right. Yo, this is Scott Brown, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive with Katsuki. This is Extreme. Hey, Katsuki, thanks for keeping the rave alive. Hey, yo. Hey, guys, it's the Outbreak, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive, hosted by Katsuki. Yo, what up? This is Mark Rudicay from Belgium, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive. Yes, yes, Kutsky, Mr. Rob the Band here. Hi, this is DJ Ben B, and you are listening to Keeping the Rave Alive with Kutsky. This is Frantic, and you are listening to Keeping the Rave Alive. Yes, welcome back to the Keeping the Rave Alive show with myself, Kutsky. Hope this finds you well as you're locked in. Thank you for tuning in yet again. I've got a super fun show. It's not going to be credible this week. Absolute, pure, cheesy, happy. Put a smile on your face, goodness. I'll be telling you all about that very shortly, but up first, First, I've got some important business. If you listened through to the show last week, you'll know that I'm selling a limited edition Keeping the Rave Alive 100 USB stick. That's to celebrate the 100th release on the Keeping the Rave Alive record label. And on that USB stick, you can get all 100 releases. That's the WAV DJ friendly versions of it, the streaming edits in MP3, and also all 14 Keeping the Rave Alive albums. So basically it contains everything we've ever released on the Keeping the Rave Alive live label. It comes on a custom Keeping the Rave Live USB stick and a nice little presentation box. Very proud of it. If you're interested in picking one up, there's still some left. You can head over to our Keeping the Rave Alive store. Just go to keepingtheravealive.com, click on the store button and you'll see it front and center on there. I'll also drop a direct link to that in the description wherever you're listening to the show right about now. Thank you for humoring my uh, car salesman pitch there, but I bought these with my own money, so I'm out of pocket on them and I need to sell them now to get the money back. Hopefully, if we can make this a success, we can look at doing more limited edition runs of music on the Keeping the Rave Alive label. Maybe we could do some vinyl releases, maybe albums on CD. And I was even thinking it'd be fun to do like an old school tape pack or something at some point. Just ideas that we're playing with, but obviously we need to make this one a success first. So yeah, keepingtheravealive.com, head to the store button at the top of the page there, and you can pick up our Keeping the Rave Alive 100 limited edition USB stick. Right, okay. This week's show, we're going in for some guilty pleasures. And I was thinking about doing it across the full range of the harder style of dance music, but when I reached out and I asked everybody in the community what their favourite guilty pleasure track was, they were almost all exclusively happy hardcore tracks. That's setting the theme for the show. It's definitely not going to be credible, but it is definitely going to be fun. So for the next hour and a half, you're going to be in tune to myself, Kutsky, in the mix with some of my personal favourite guilty pleasures, some of your guilty pleasures, and a big cheesy smile on your face for the duration of it. Let's get into the music. It's Kutsky in the mix here on Keeping the Rave Alive. Keep the cheese alive. It's DJ Kutsky in the mix. Keeping the Rave Alive. Kutsky.
in 1996, we are still on the case.
How did you get on with that then? You survived it, you're still with me. Well, I guess you are if you're listening to this. Some proper cheddar in that, wasn't there? Like I said, not all mine, but I'm not going to pass judgment on anyone else because there were some proper cheddar ones that I put in. Personally, that Hey Jude DJ Vibes hardcore remix, I always hated that. And I don't understand that Spice Girls remix was like the worst release on their Silk Cuts bootleg series. It's got a huge cult following and everyone was asking for it. But like I said, not passing judgment, no cheese shaming here on this show. Hope you enjoyed it. Guilty pleasures. Here with myself, Kutsky in the mix on Keeping the Rave Alive. Okay, we're almost flipping the final vinyl feature on the show. Uh, Normally, this is where I play you a vinyl. I think every other track that I've played on the show so far, I do actually own on vinyl, except for this one in the background. It was the only non-Happy Hardcore track that was repeatedly requested, so we had to end the show with Tweaker's remix of Moana. Just a quick reminder... The Keeping the Rave Alive 100 USB sticks over on the Keeping the Rave Alive store. KeepingTheRaveAlive.com, punch the store button. You heard me at the start of the show. I don't need to keep reminding you, but I didn't thank my awesome members over on Patreon. So I want to shout out everybody over on there, patreon.com slash KTRA. And lastly, a shout out to everybody that's been supporting me with the virtual beers this week, the tip system on the show over on the website, beer dot keeping the rave alive dot com it's a lot of www dots i know you can just find it all on the keeping the rave alive website but let me give a quick shout out to house mom who regularly buys me a virtual beer as does jamie claude thank you very much guys appreciate that dj harpoon in with the virtual beer saying enjoy mate and then lastly a big shout out to colin lily and arthur saying our children love listening to the show we're introducing them to the harder styles so here's some beers as a thank you so thank you very much big up to the family hope you're enjoying the show colin lily and arthur and maybe just maybe you're all gonna enjoy this one winding up the show this week with the tweakers cheesy remix of moana i'll catch you back on the show same time same place next week until then this is kutsky signing out keeping the rave alive i've been staring at the edge of the world Far out.